Hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for being here for your daily divine spread. Today is the 29th of June of 2020 everyone. Okay now of course Mars has moved into its home sign of Aries. Okay so Mars in Aries is very strong. It gives us that energy to push through for new beginnings. It's the fighting warrior spirit that is beneath us now. Um, Mars has sextiled a Saturn a day ago. So Saturn we know is anything to do with the law, anything to do with the boss, someone who may have closed the door on you. We've got two cards that just fell out. I'm going to take them both. Someone who hasn't let you through that door, whether it's an elder, a boss, a relationship that's been harsh, whether it is anything to do with work, okay? Um, Saturn is something long-term. It's also karma. Now we've got the energy to push through, to start something that can prove to be long-term for us. And in the next 18 hours, roughly, Jupiter and Pluto will be together in the sign of Capricorn. Mind you, Saturn is still retrograding. It's a step away from moving into its home sign of Capricorn. So it gets heavy there again, and that's gonna happen in two and a half days. So the next couple of days, we're gonna have Saturn back home Okay, this, with Jupiter and Pluto, this is the second meeting where they've come together. Now, as I've explained many times what Jupiter, Pluto are, okay, I don't want to be uh, saying the same thing over and over again. Mercury is still retrograding in the sign of Cancer for until the 12th, roughly, of July. So we've got another 10 days, 10, 12 days. I don't know how it's been for you. I mean, Mercury retrograde has been wreaking havoc for me, difficulties with um, anything technological, understanding, miscommunications, uh, information going, getting lost, things to do with our um, security, our emotional home, cancer, that's what it's all about. It's also dealings with the past, okay? Now, Mercury and the Sun still close together, and we know that when Mercury is with the Sun, it's very weak. The sun burns its energy. So Mercury's starting to break away now as the sun is at 8 degrees, Mercury's at 10. Happy birthday to those of you that are having your birthday today. So there is a square from Mercury and the sun over to Mars. Okay, and a square is turning a corner, of course. This um, is asking that we communicate well. If there has been, you know, lack of communication, we need to use our sensitive side, our psychic side. Cancer is water, and therefore it can be very, very good with um, intuition. All water signs are very good, okay? And this is saying, don't get over emotional, okay? Even if you don't have the information, with Mars in the sign of Aries, move forward, okay, and the changes will come in. This is us receiving that push. Mars, again, as I'm going to say, Mars also rules Scorpio, okay, and Mars in Aries, of course, is going to help with fire. When we've got Mars in its sign of Aries, all fire signs are behooved are helped so if you are a Leo Sagittarius or Aries this is giving you the energy to move forward what is Leo Leo is that risk what is Sagittarius it's our beliefs it's our understanding it's our vision now of course Neptune having moved um, retrograde a few days ago could be either confusing us more or helping us to see what's been hidden, what's, what was that illusion, what was that misunderstanding, what was hidden. 
also Chiron in Aries, which is that self-worth, that chip on the shoulder, that wound, that open wound of thyself is in a square to, again, Mercury and the Sun. So this could be communication, digging deep, um, seeing that if we're not emotionally secure where we're at, we need to bring in change, we need to tweak something, change is necessary here. Now the moon is still in Libra. Libra is, we're trying to find our balance, our harmony, where relationships and others are concerned, whether it's love, whether it's family, whether it's um, work. Okay, the moon loves being in the sign of a Libra. Soon, in the next few hours, it will be moving into Scorpio, going deep. Use your intuition, everyone. Let's go on to the tarot. What came out today? What is the Kama Dharma? We have the Magician, which is Mercury. And we also have the Moon. Wow. So deception. You know, the Magician can be a trickster as well, everyone. Let's take more cards. Let's look at love. Now we've got Pisces here, Pisces and Cancer. And we've also got Mercury rules, Gemini, as well as Virgo. Okay, and now Venus is moving direct in the sign of Gemini. The magician can be a trickster, but it can also be having those tools. Okay, we're in our power. We've got separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Whether this is a, a separation, long-term separation, a separation where you're closing that door, or separation, again, can mean a period of time. Let's see. We've got flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Some of you are closing the door and looking elsewhere, looking into new love with the card of flirt. That does ring Leo to me, obviously. And we've got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So... Some of you, this could also say that you've gone through a period where you were separated. Was it the lockdown? Was it um, things, you know, a chapter in your life that needed to end? The card of flirt does talk about going out and lightening up the energy. For those of you that are in separation, it's asking that you go out. Don't stay stuck um, in the past as... Here we've got getting to know each other, and that is through light energy. What's at the bottom? And we've got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. What else? We've got calling in your soulmate. Listen, everyone. Where love is concerned, right? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations bring you together. There is a reason why there has been a separation. Okay, there is a reason if you were um, separated either by lockdown or a situation where emotionally you were at odds with each other, it could mean that either you or the other person had things to deal with, had a door that they needed to close of the past. That's what I see here. What's beneath that? And we've got give your relationship a chance. Some of you already have given your relationship a chance. And this here is saying that because we've got an ace here, the magician is an ace. So this is a new beginning. Let's take the cards. Let's take the messages for today. Or for those of you that are watching this reading on another day, whenever you receive this message, then this is important for you. Let's take today's messages, please, Spirit. Please guide me. And we know that Mars squaring over to the sun, you know, this could also mean aggression. Obviously, um, you may be, you may have different values where the other person is concerned. This could be conversations around values, self-worth and pain, which is Chiron. We've got the Queen of Wands, Leo mainly, doesn't have to be could be any fire sign. This is at the foundation. This has got to do with a distant past or your emotional security, your home. What is hidden? And we've got the Ten of Wands. 
So we're going through a burdensome time. We're finishing up a cycle here. Okay, we know that tens turn into the one. The Queen of Wands holds that ace, right? Which is the ten here, which has come to a completion. Okay, she's able to create. What about the recent past? Seven of Pentacles, looking at a situation, looking at what you've invested in, taking time out, spending time in nature. Okay, this card does speak very much about the earth, agricultural, planting those seeds, um, seeing something grow. Do we invest more time in that? What about the now? We've got the sun. And the sun is beautiful here. This is true love. This is Leo. This is shining your light. This is creating something here in the Morgan Greer Tarot. I do see it as a twin flame connection. A very strong bond. Okay. This is very similar to the Two of Cups here. And the sun can also speak of children. That... Um, connection which is all about fun it's romance okay this is also a, a card of healing healing through through your truth we know that the sun is our ego ego it's our physical body as well and leo takes risks leo will move towards their desire their fire what about crowning and we've got the four of cups four of cups is an offer that's obviously something that some of you may be hoping will come back around or this is an offer that's being not being accepted for whatever reason it's got to do with your emotional security your home your foundation okay some of you um if you're in you know on the road to separation someone is trying to and i'm going to say maybe even um apologize i don't think that this will be accepted this apology let's look at the action and advice and we've got the seven of cups seven of cups can mean confusion now for those of you that are not accepting this uh, door that you've closed you're not opening that door again you've got the seven of cups here you've got lots of choices okay lots of choices and you've got the power to maybe and I'm gonna say You've got the, the power and you've got the logic, okay, the logic to see clearly through this illusion. What about the outcome? And we've got the Page of Swords. Okay, Page of Swords, of course, is uh, communication. It's news coming through. It's someone investigating. It is very much like Mercury. Okay, Mercury is logic, it's communicating, it's sending out that message. Some of you may be careful if you've had a message sent to you, there may be confusion around it, you may have missed a message. Let's look at the divine. And we know that the page of swords is also the spy, but it's also a lesson. This is the student. And we've got the high priestess. So Piscean energy, Virgo Pisces, is the axis here. High Priestess, strong intuition. She's the new moon. She's got the new moon at her feet. This does mean beginnings for me. Trust your intuition. That whatever's been withheld from you, whatever secrets, you have got a that psychic side to you. You've got to believe in your intuition. You've got to believe in what is unknown. Okay, and these could be also, and I'm going to say, also messages through through your sleep. Let's see what else. And we've got the Ace of Cups, everyone, here. Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning here. For those of you that have been trying to work through something that was very karmic for you, um, you may have... This may have helped you connect to, to spirit, okay, as I feel as though you've probably gone through some sort of a challenge. You know, the um, with this lockdown and all that, with Mars moving through the sign of Pisces all that time with the lockdown and the confusion and the um, 
not only physical illness but also emotional and psychological hardships that everyone's gone through it's been very testing but I'm going to say because Pisces is also unconditional love for those of you that have given a lot you've sacrificed a lot you've surrendered if something is just not moving if something is just not clearing for you or showing up for you you've been trying to clear the air where there's been a lot of confusion I do feel that with Mercury moving direct from the 12th Venus is direct Mars is direct they are personal planets which are very important and I'm gonna say that you may also be receiving messages now for some of you because Uranus in Taurus is sextiling this is a beautiful aspect sextiling over to the Sun and to Mercury okay this is like a tower moment let's see what's at the bottom of the deck and we've got the two of wands and the two of wands there is a meeting here a meeting of the mind of the soul of the heart of the idealism of uh, coming together two people that come from different worlds are coming together on a different level for each and every one of you of course as you can see this could be also something to do around secrets now the high priestess can be the other woman this is the um, for those of you that are involved in a love triangle maybe this is a time of closing the door on the past this um, other woman could be turning into a um, turning into something much more stable so what I mean by that is for those of you that are the third person okay and you can of course flip the reading around whoever's been the third person is um, it's like the world has changed like 360 degrees the outsider is going to be the insider if you get what I mean that's what I feel here what's beneath here and we've got the five of cups so yes leaving the past having moved over that um, that bridge crossing over to as you could see see that castle in the in the distance there that's where we're moving towards everyone let's have a look here and we've got the six of Pentacles which can mean it can mean legalities it can mean harmony but also moving to some sort of a relationship or towards people where what we've what we give what we provide also comes back let's take the uh, Lenormand I feel as in the collective energies just like you know everything's being turned upside down upside down so as I was saying in my last reading never say never what and we've got a saying in Greek which says don't um, do not deem others and in their wrong doing so don't discriminate others and what they do for their own personal life because that at some point will come around and bite you in the butt so what goes around comes around as we say let's have a look we've got the stars and this is the number of the tower this is a wish fulfillment coming in unexpectedly this can also mean and because it is the star of course uh, Aquarius I'm going to mention this is all about the future and I'm going to say the stars are aligning here with that shift that's happening we've got transition here which is the ship okay and the ship is also something at a distance um, a relationship from a distance a different um, place some of you could be moving to a distant place 
this is um, someone that's ready to go on an adventure on a journey this is Jupiter in Sagittarius absolutely beautiful and wow I'm going to say here with the um, the mice because again it is a number 23 I think it showed up recently this is a nuisance something that is karmic ahead which needs to be um, dealt with this could be of course financial loss this could be a breakup this is karmic okay it's a number 23 which is 11 so I'm going to say on your on the road to success there is a fork in the road here and we've got the bouquet here also the bouquet number nine this is a beautiful card okay this is pleasantness this could be in, mean an offer that's coming in this is also Jupiter in Sagittarius so there is an offer here but there is a small price to pay here and I'm gonna um, let's see if I can get you to see these cards yeah so we've got two similar cards we've got more positive here than negative there is still something karmic that we need to pay for let's see what's at the bottom of the deck and we've got again the mountain and number 21 well there is some sort of a blockage as I was saying and I feel as though both these cards came out the other day but we've got news coming in okay maybe something that was not happening that message was not coming through there's been a sense of sacrifice okay with the 12 it's very much like the hanging man there is a, a major closure here that you need to put into action in your own personal journey for those beautiful energies to come through okay and that means ending cutting that umbilical, umbilical cord cutting it finally severing ties with that let's take more cards everyone let's take a moon oracle and with a magician which is a number one before that is the fool which is the Aries energy okay so this is us being able where we've been given the um, the tools to manifest so why not take action on that why not do so adjustments are required third quarter moon and you know I always pre shuffle before I open cam this card did fall out as I was pre shuffling and I haven't taken this card for a while and it's very strange that this same card came out so third quarter moon means that we're coming up to a culmination but adjustments are required so that we can get the ending of something something needs to be tweaked we need to take the action become the warrior so we can take the necessary action to bring in an ending a culmination okay um, so no, I'm not surprised and I do uh, believe in the messages that come through and that's why I do read the tarot but for again I'm going to say for a lot of you um, I do believe that the astrology together with the tarot are much more of a complete message and I hope that um, those of you that are new to my channel I hope that you understand what I mean by that through uh, of course listening to me and following these videos you will get to learn a lot and see how the energies do actually work well wow, two cards just fell out we've got the hermit practically in the reverse so the hermit in the reverse because it's a number nine it goes back to the strength card we've got a lot strong Leo so from Leo to Virgo now of course someone is looking for the answers here okay and with this card in the reverse I'm going to say that for a lot of you this may have been because Virgo is the house of health and daily routine I'm going to say that whatever has been hidden, whatever has been um, 
whatever has kept you in the dark, I do feel that this has brought you to the point of trusting in spirit, connecting to spirit. I do feel as though a lot of you have gone through a massive lesson, okay, and you're on your way to connecting. You've be, you're becoming the elder and the wiser. So you've been pushing, okay, you've had the courage the courage to um, move towards what you desire maybe even for those of you that were not trusting in your abilities now you're starting to do that okay a lot of Leo which of course in between Leo is shining the light to the world the hermit is the opposite so I do feel that we're in between those two worlds so either being fully open and showing our what we've produced, what we've become. This is all about not being shy, about being your own self, being true to yourself and therefore being able to come out with it because I do see here with the hermit in the reverse. This is being behind the scenes way too long. It's time now. To show the world your true self, to show the other person who you truly are, to show that you've got the power to manifest, to create. Let's look at that moon card in the uh, Kama Dharma, and we've got the Five of Swords. Wow. Mind games, hidden knowledge. Um, an imbalance where families are concerned, our emotional self, the past. It's been very challenging. Let's have a look at the magician and we've got the lovers. And the lovers is Gemini. Again, Gemini is ruled by Mercury as well. This is a time of clearing the slate. The lovers can mean that there is a decision between two worlds, two people, two situations. The lovers is a very powerful connection. It is a number six. Six means balance. Let's have a look at that ten. Too many cards. That ten of wands in the hidden position. And we've got the knight of pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race, of course. This is careful planning. Um, knight of pentacles is earth, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's look at that seven of pentacles. Someone's been dealing with a lot, but the planning is still there. This is a sure success. Let's have a look at that Seven of Pentacles, and we've got the Seven of Swords. There has been, there has been deception. Some of you have been secretly, secretly planning an escape route, escaping maybe from a narcissistic connection, trying to be intelligent and not doing things um, suddenly but more beneath the surface let's have a look planning a get-together with someone that speaks to your soul let's have a look at that Sun and we've got another seven Wow three sevens are 21 we've got three sevens right here 21 right the ending of a cycle Let's have a look at that Four of Cups. And we've got Judgment. So regeneration, rebirth, that offer comes back. For those of you that are needing to accept this, that are needing to I'm going to say that for those of you that there is no help from anywhere and you feel as though you're doing this on your own, there may be an offer that you may need to accept to bring in the change. Okay, maybe for some of you this offer is something, for others of you, this is something that is coming back around and I've said that in my past readings. Um, some of you may be in the past needed to accept this apology because there was no other way. 
okay, because this is Pluto, and Pluto rules um, Scorpio, of course. Scorpio can mean, and wow, I can't pick up that card. Scorpio means money from other sources. Your partner's money. And this was a life force for those of you that needed to accept this, even though you weren't happy with it. I do feel that it's got to do with, you know, um, any money matters. So let's have a look at the choices now with that Seven of Cups in the action and advice. And because, you know, judgment is a very karmic card, this is also a card of resurrection, which means, you know, karma comes and goes. And usually it does show the eclipsed moon. So we've got another eclipse in the next few days and we're in between eclipses. So some of you have been waiting for this, um, this resurrection. Let's have a look at the choice. Yeah, yeah, truth. Um, severing ties, standing strong in your convictions, clearing the fog, clearing the, um, seeing the truth after deception, I'm going to say here, no doubt. And also with a page of swords, that's the same sword. Okay. There's a lot of decisiveness here and conviction, I see. And we've got the Ten of Cups. This is what we want. This is where we're moving towards. This is what will bring us the happiness that we've been searching. And I feel that because I want you to look at this. Look at the way the card is. See that that page is holding up that cup. This is like saying, he's saying cheers. So this is salute, right? This is let's have those drinks, let's celebrate. So whatever truth comes through, whatever you find through searching, let's say through social media, it's going to be a celebration. And again, we've got another hand here. We've got, you know, there is a sense of secretiveness here. You don't see the people. And this is very similar to this card right here. I want to have a look at that Two of Wands. And we've got the Eight of Cups. There's that Eclipse Moon again. Okay, so which means to me someone is leaving a situation behind. They are moving towards their heart's content. Okay. This has made them grow emotionally spiritually let's have a look let's take one more card someone is moving towards their wish fulfillment and they are creating something new no doubt what's at the bottom of the deck wow everyone here is jupiter jupiter and their blessings look at the person falling off the wheel there's two people celebrating lifting those cups Two cups are up here. Jupiter can mean, and I'm getting the goosebumps as I'm saying that, this is the karmic will that turns around and brings back things from the past. This is people standing strong in their convictions, in their truth. This is people that have grown through the lessons. Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We know that the Knight of Cups is someone that isn't usually not very certain about offering that cup for whatever reason. Here it is, everyone. Ten of Cups. All you need to do is tweak something small. I want to take just one card on that Five of Swords. As we know, there's three people in that card. Could be external factors, situations, another person. 
and we have the chariot. Another seven, there we go. The divine is here with the chariot. This is movement, taking control, taking control of your own life, taking control to provide your own emotional security to your own self. This is loving thyself. This is healing thyself. Okay, if you have not been provided that nurturing, we've got three aces. Three aces. And we've also got the magician here, which is a fourth ace. Four is home, family. And what's really interesting here, we've got only knights. We don't have any kings. We've got a knight. We've got a page. We've got a couple of knights. We have the uh, knight of cups and the knight of pentacles. So we've got water and earth. Let's take a couple of messages, three messages from my handwritten. We have, we are so different and I don't know if I could ev if this could ever work out. I don't know what to do. Very similar to the Five of Swords. Someone was conflicted. My wish is for us to be together forever. And we've also got, we're done. I can't do this anymore. It hurts too much. Now, I'm not going to put them in the order that they, they came out. Of course, these messages will be different for each of you. Obviously, someone's moving towards their wish. They cannot do this anymore. This is closing the door and moving towards a wish fulfillment, even though there was confusion here and an imbalance. What's at the bottom? And we've got, it, I couldn't stay with you because I felt as though I was being, I was suffocating, I want to be free. Someone needs their freedom, whether it's you or the other person or both of you. We've got 8, 16, 26, so 2 and 8, 2 and 6, sorry, equal 8. This is the strength card, but the eighth house is also Scorpio. Okay. More, more information for you. Of course, these readings do not resonate for everyone. We do have true love here and calling in your soulmate. Someone is following their calling. Okay, this is a very, very strong connection that has been trying to manifest but there's been massive blockages here and as I said something needs to be tweaked you're close to the culmination of it let's take my chocolate messages we go wow wedding and family wedding chocolate and family what this says to me is um, yes separation would be more than likely could be from a marriage um, and getting getting single with a flirt card getting to know each other okay and moving towards a soulmate connection and true love Let's read the card. I'm just showing it to you. A happy family life is around you. Whether you are partnered or single, this card refers to parents, siblings, children, and friendships. You are emotionally and spiritually fulfilled and love abounds. Live in the moment and siege the day. Carpe diem. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know what language it is in either. Make sure you share the good energy you are radiating with those around you. Your personality is infectious at this moment and you are helping people who are feeling down without even realizing you are doing so. Of course, this does not speak to everyone for the now. This obviously will come at some point. Let's see what the affirmation is. I enjoy a happy family life. I am blessed with good family and friends, and I share my love around. Wow. So this is the change, I would say, that is coming through 
from that karmic wheel that is turning okay okay everyone some of you of course I'm gonna say may also be uh, attending some sort of a wedding could it be as someone new that you're uh, connecting to there because the ten of cups can mean family you know getting together with family okay For those of you that have had trouble um, manifesting or building on a family or getting pregnant I'm gonna say um, with the chariot card this is all systems go okay we because of course we've got the lovers here this does speak of physical connection obviously and we know that the magician could also be a doctor the hermit is also a physician who's looking very deeply into what's hidden okay all right everyone I think I will leave it at that um, thank you so much for liking sharing subscribing commenting and also um, being here spending your precious time with me I will catch up with you I am preparing the July reading so look out for those sending you lots of love and lots of healing do not stop moving towards your desires and your wishes it's up to you